Hi everyone, just a quick video today sharing my experience using the Geek G4. As always you can find links to the case and a written review in the video description. I'll show you around the case and then onto the HTPC system that I put together. On the one side of the case you've got the motherboard tray and the PSU mounting at the front of the case. We also have two fan mounting locations, one at the bottom of the case and one at the top. And on the other, we have the excessively long power cord and drive mounting locations. At the top of the case, you can install an optional handle, which is nicely implemented. One thing I'd like to see in future revisions of the case or case lineup is the side panels to sit more recessed into the frame as they do stick out more than I'd like. Before moving on to the build, I'd like to talk about the power supply suitability for the case. Most or if not all Enhanced Flex ATX power supplies are not going to be suitable for use in the G4 since they can only be installed with the intake vents squashed against the inside of the front panel with no access to airflow. Cable management is also a consideration especially when installing both case fans and hard drives. In terms of coolers, the Black Ridge is going to be the best cooler choice in my opinion if you have a compatible motherboard and RAM. Because of Flex ATX suitability issues, I opted to custom mount the HD Plex GAN 250 by drilling two holes to the inside of the frame. If not for the power supply issues encountered, the G4 would have been an easy recommendation for a small media PC system for office work, storage and light gaming. I also want to thank everyone for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.